What's up gamers, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to play console at Rainbow Six Siege. Before we go any further, there are links to all my socials in the description below, so make sure you go check those out. The thing that makes console a very annoying map, in my opinion, is the way that it's played. For example, for this top floor site, CEO and meeting, you only need one person to get inside the building to win the round, and that's the person planting behind meeting desk usually. The reason for that is you can have somebody play me uh, connector window, somebody play bathroom window, somebody play CEO window, somebody plant, and either somebody maybe off of bathroom window, go play piano window, and then you have somebody, or you just actually have the guy stay on bathroom window, have somebody play piano window. And the reason for this is all you can see from these windows. Connector window can watch all the way through this open area into bathroom, into meeting usually there might be a rotate here you can see all the way into closet that person from bathroom window can see into long desk through this rotate into meeting if there's a about if there's a yellow stairs rotate here they can see into yellow stairs the person from ceo rappel can pretty much see everything from bathroom door uh through the rotate into connector and then the person piano pretty much just watches downstairs to make sure that the planter right here doesn't get nitro cell from downstairs. And this makes it super annoying because if you have somebody upside down rappel right here with an ACOG and you're trying to maybe play smoke or mute and you have to swing this guy upside down rappel on connector window with the SMG 11, you can one, get shot from the guy connector window, get shot from the guy bathroom window, and then also get shot the guy by the guy from CEO window. And even if you take these two guys out of the equation, it's still a really difficult fight to win. Somebody may be head glitching as a Blackbeard and you have you have a one-time scope. They probably have like a 1.5, I believe, Blackbeard has. So they have a better way of seeing you and you can't even see them. And even if you do see them, the only thing exposed is their head and they have a face shield. But pretty much that's what makes the map overall just annoying. Well, that's one of the things that makes the map really annoying. The next thing, let's hop more onto basement. What makes this site super annoying to defend, this is all from the defensive side, Pretty much this whole map can be controlled from outside and vertically and for example let's look at basement okay the outside portion would be you open up oh oops you open up garage wall great now somebody sitting 40 feet away not even 40 feet like a football field away as cali can prone all the way back here behind a pillar and watch all of garage if you get both walls open you have the entire garage open she can just see all of this pretty much the entire basement up until like here and probably just not even cafe but you can see the majority of the site and make it really difficult for defenders to play anywhere and then from the upstairs pers upstairs perspective if you're playing upstairs in piano you can all open all of this up open up above the wall uh so you can get the wall open open up uh, above the rotate open up above cafeteria get the hatches open open up all over garage all over pipes pretty much everywhere so there's nowhere the defenders can sit inside the site because they either have two options they sit under a sledge or buck hole and they get shot or they run out and maybe somebody sitting usually there's like a car right here somebody sitting on this car shoots them or the cali sitting a whole like a really far distance away shoots them while they're running away and it's just really annoying to play just as a defender in general because literally like the upstairs example you really only need one person to get into the objective and that's the person planting you can have your other you can have two people play upstairs opening up all these holes you can have one person sit outside the breach one person sit maybe yellow stairs or maybe play bottom spiral or do like a late uh late rank uh late round flank and then you have the one guy run into the site to plant usually in front of white van where the only way to counter it really is throwing what the heck is throwing a smoke canister usually maybe from um security but if you have somebody on spiral they can't do that or maybe throw a nitro cell from inside of cafeteria but if you have somebody upstairs playing sledge or you open up this hatch then you can drop on them and shoot them or play them from upstairs and they can't do that so pretty much as you can tell there's not a lot of things that the defenders can do pretty much anywhere on this map but then the third thing that makes this map annoying is that the map control is not really that not really that complex in my opinion the main thing that you need to take when you're attacking consulate is going to be this room right here called admin which is basically just this entire room upstairs this whole area and the reason for that is from this room 
you can flint you can basically usually teams will just clear meeting clear through uh copy through break room clear long desk and it's just a pretty fluid way of clearing the map you clear all of upstairs and then you just move down to downstairs you get piano control especially if you're attacking basement you really only need this room uh, of control this one right here and you can watch a flank if somebody maybe even a uh, nomad air jab here air jab this double door great now you can't get flanked and you have pretty much all the map control you need and then you just open the wall and you plant like on the like i said a couple minutes ago and then that's basically what the map control is it's not super intense not super complex just that one room is really important which makes it similar to um which makes it similar to cafe in the ways that cocktail is really important and then the verticality and outside play makes it very similar to coastline and then like villa this map is not super heavy on utility but it is pretty heavy on utility for example the most common way on this garage example to stop somebody from planting or pushing into the breach is you put a maestro cam here and one here and these can see under the cars through the breach and shoot people in the feet and it's very hard to shoot them with Sophia impacts because if they even clip maybe the tire or the front of the white van they blow up and don't get the maestro cam same thing with ash charges but what a lot of teams are doing now is they're completely avoiding the upstairs site because of all the window play in the example where you literally only need one person to get inside the building to win the round and instead they're moving to this other basement site called archives uh and then one side the other side is upstairs in tellers this room right here and basically what that means is you just have a pulse who sits down here the whole round and you bring like four three or four nitro cells and when they go to plant upstairs inside of tellers um usually they're going to be planting on this desk or on okay that's tough to see either on this desk or this desk or this desk and you just nitro sell them through some footholes or no, some floor holes and you blow them up which basically brings some more intel and utility where you need an iq lots of this game um a youtuber who makes lots of like vod reviews and strategy reviews named reaper en this is a very heavy mini game map and what that means is basically the mini games are just little tasks that you need to do within the game within the round so for example on yellow lots of times somebody will have two or three ads's some of my magnets and then maybe a smoke will be playing up here with a shotgun because if you're trying to take ceo if you're attacking upstairs and you want to take this room right here ceo you need to usually have yellow control because from here you can affect the plant a lot and just yellow control is really important because if the defenders are able to kind of circumvent the people on all these windows maybe have somebody with an acog sitting here and watch the window so where he only has to challenge the guy on the ceo rappel then it comes down to a one-on-one -on -one gunfight and that's not what a really good attacking strategy is to just win your gunfights um so that makes yellow control very important and what attackers usually need to do is they need to clear all these with my discs all these ads's pretty much all of this and that takes a lot of utility and a lot of time and it's just a, a mini game for example on archives it would be clearing the pulse on garage it would be either stopping the bandit trick or getting the arcade electro claw off of the wall anything like that recapping this map is mainly played from outside on windows outside a garage breach um, played vertically in piano looking down into basement played vertically upstairs in admin looking down into tellers pretty much anything like that just verticality and outside play utility is important because lots of like i just said the mini games of clearing something off of yellow stairs or off of the garage wall or clearing a pulse in archives or clearing a shield on long that on long desk anything like that map control mainly mainly controlling this room right here admin because you then can clear across the map very efficiently that's pretty much all i have to say for this video if you enjoyed remember to like and subscribe i stream pretty much every day link in the description below thank you for watching and peace out gamers